What's going on guys? It's Destin here and we are checking out a 2025 Alpha Wolf 26 RLL. So this model is freshly redesigned, a whole new skin on the outside, totally redone on the inside. Floor plan's the same, but they've added they've added quite a bit. So we're going to start off right at the front. You got a power tongue jack, 220 pound LP tanks your battery box right behind there and they are going with a molded fiberglass front cap just like years past however they are adding a giant automotive grade window here and that's going to be huge for the bedroom area just for comparison there's a 2024 there's the 2025 so totally new colors Going down the line here, it's still it's going to be a full-featured coach. They haven't taken that away yet. So full-size pass-through that's fully finished. You can't see any of the framing or anything like that. All your switch lights, your solar controller, and then a battery disconnect right on the off-door side there. You got your leech latch, of course, for your furry friends. And then underneath, you can see fully enclosed underbelly. I like the new J-Wrap for it. It looks nice they've tinted their windows out this year very similar to the campsite reserve lineup it looks good you can't really well you can see with all the lights on you can kind of look into it but they're they're privacy glass uh two awnings on this coach you got an awning covering the door you got one on the door side slide out here and then we're also looking at a security camera prep right on the door here so you can see who's knocking on your door Extended size grab handle, so that goes right down to the ground here. Nice and easy to get a hold of. And some Lippert solid steps to get you inside. Underneath, just a quick look at those rims. You got blacked out rims this year. And it looks pretty good. You do have a quick connect on the back of the coach there if in case you wanted to add an outdoor grill. And then outside TV, right on the slide out here. Moving on towards the back of the coach, pretty standard for Alpha Wolves. You're going to have a sewer spot. You're going to have a receiver hitch so you can put an accessory hitch on or something like that. Backup camera prep, ladder prep, and then those windows look like they open. On the side here, you're going to see a cable-driven slide system which is pretty standard for Alpha Wolf. Looks like this one's going to be a 30 amp supply, so single air conditioner on this coach. Let's get towards the front here again, where you're going to have all of your tank dumps. I don't have any towards the back of the coach, so that makes it easy. Outdoor shower area, all of your hookups central is going to be right there. Tankless hot water heater on this one, furnace exhaust on the off door side. And then there's the other side of the pass through. Let's get on inside this thing and check it out. All right, walking in here. The floor plan is the same, but the decor is totally different. We're in the 26RL Alpha Wolf here. Right at the back, you're going to have, of course, your overhead storage. A huge back window. Both of those sides are going to open up. The side windows don't open, but they're all tinted out. Almost like a live edge sort of look to the edging here. And then... Storage underneath, USB chargers, 110 volt power. That's good for both sides here. And then you have a couch that flips out for your extra sleeping, which is pretty wide compared to some rear livings that I see. On the slide out, you're going to have a pretty big couch there, actually. It looks like you could even extend it a little bit more. Uh, they changed their slide out, so it's a step up this year. So just keep a watch out for that so you don't trip. They also redid their kitchen tables this year, which looks good. So you're going to have two chairs on one side, lounge sort of set up on the other, which I'm willing to bet has some storage underneath it. Oh, yeah. Good storage there. The table does not have a leaf. However, if you pull that out, you get a whole storage drawer. Maybe put your silverware in there. Good use of space. On the windows, they're of course, they're privacy tinted out. So you saw me trying to see in. It didn't work so well. Seeing out works just fine. They do have blackout shades equipped. You can put those right down. Just block the whole world right out. 
they totally redesigned their entertainment center. You got your TV already mounted. You got a spot for your remote, so you got your fireplace right under that, which does kick out heat, of course. And then if I open it up here, you can see a huge hidden pantry. Well, I know a lot of manufacturers are going this way or starting to, but again, it's, it's all about use of space here. So here's the kitchen of this thing. They, I like what they did. They backlit their countertop. So you got a nice little soft glow to it. If you had all the lights off and everything, it would look really nice. Uh, nice white countertops, pretty simple. Again, you got your Fury and microwave. You got your Fury and three burner cooktop and a stove. Um, bet the fancy lights turn on. Yeah, fancy blue lights on it. You got your range hood and then a little bit of storage up above too. Over on the other side, of course, you got a nice carbon fiber sink here, a little cup washer, don't mind the antifreeze, and then a residential faucet. Really nice residential setup. Dedicated pull-out trash can space with a built-in drawer here. I love to see that. They're, they're thinking of every square inch this time. And then a little bit more storage under the, the sink there. It is all lit up in that cabinet too, so you can see what you're doing. There's a good view of the backlighting on that countertop too. It's it looks nice. Nice little coffee bar area here. You got a USB charger. You got 110 volt power. Up above here, you got even more cup storage, whatever it may be. And then underneath, you got a full storage area too. Maybe if you could add a shelf there or something. Full size pantry. So you got three shelves right there. It's pretty deep too. So lots of storage space, lots of pantry space. And then of course our Fury and fridge right across from us. Moving towards the front of the coach, we're going to have our setup center. So all of our LED controls, slide out controls, awning controls. This is super cool. So our lighting for this thing, our overhead lights, is actually in the batten strips. I'm going to call it track lighting. It looks awesome. It's on a dimmer switch, which is a real dimmer switch. So you can just put it right down. It, it looks good. We're going to start seeing them in a lot of options coming up, I feel like. Moving towards the front of the coach, we got our commode area. So we got our toilet, neo-angle shower, which I have a love-hate relationship with. They can be a little tight, but you actually have nice doors on them too. Um, smaller sink area this year, but I like it. I'll give you a little storage underneath. Medicine cabinet right there. And then a little bit more built-in storage. It's a connected to the bedroom. So you can just walk right into the bedroom from the bath. There is another door, of course, too. But there's a good view of that window, that front angled window there. Storage wraps around throughout. Up above, you got storage. Both sides have a wardrobe. Both sides have a drawer. And then here's our laundry hamper. You also have power and USB charger over on that side. Over on the other side, you have the same thing, too. You got a spot to mount a TV. You got even more track lighting in here. And this is ducted for AC to come into the bedroom as well. Exit out into the door to the rest of the main living area. And that's about the tour. I hope I didn't forget anything. And if I did, you know, leave a comment. I try and respond to everybody. And if you want to watch more walkthrough videos, make sure to subscribe and follow along for more. Thanks for watching.